My name is Dr. Felicia Cosman. I'm a professor of medicine at Columbia University and an osteoporosis specialist and clinical investigator at Helen Hayes Hospital. You know, right now we really don't have any studies where we look at switching from one osteoporosis medication to a baloparatide. So I don't really want to comment on that right now. I think it's premature, but definitely a study that we need to do. I think that the data that I've presented today indicate that a baloparatide could be effective in a broad variety of patients with osteoporosis, and that includes people who have had fractures from osteoporosis, as well as those who just have very low bone density. It also includes people on the younger side, less than 65, as well as people on the older side, greater than age 75. And this is actually very useful to know that we'll get consistent effects on both fertility vertebral fractures and against non-vertebral fractures as well as improved BMD in all these different types of patients with osteoporosis. It was a low level of risk of hypercalcemia with a baloparatide, less than 3.5%, but more than the placebo group. I think that uh, most patients would require a serum calcium level prior to initiating a baloparatide. You wouldn't want to give this medication to somebody who had hypercalcemia to begin with. And in some patients, you might want to check a serum calcium level afterwards to make sure that calcium didn't go up too much in that person. Well, we do have bone biopsy studies from the uh, baloparatide, the active trial, but those haven't been analyzed or presented yet, so I think it's too premature to talk about the results of those findings.